Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. The pillow is my hairdresser. And we are off. Now in Satwa, we're gonna do some secondhand shopping, but first I'm gonna find the cash converters and we're gonna go check that out. All right, we have found cash converters. It looks tiny, just as expected. Very grim, literally the one star, one star review on Google is true, it is tiny in there. So I doubt they accept very many things. This is what's up, we get to just walk down some alleys. Okay, so one of the things I love to do when I'm in a foreign country is the experience of getting a haircut. It's kind of different everywhere. So I'm here in El Satwa. I just, it's uh, 25 dirham, I think is the price. Other parts of the city, it's a lot more expensive. Just like cleaning, shorter, but still. I mean, it's free. But yeah, but still able to cover the ball. You got to let it go. No scissors, just razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> it's slash. Professional. It's like a slash and burn. So this is the main tool that he was using to cut. Just the blade, not even the scissors. Absolute skill. Just like that, my long, awkward hair got transformed into something shorter, more manageable, and about five years younger for 25 Durham. It's magic. Hopefully Rachel approves, and he was still able to hide my Vegeta hairline. <laughs> It's all good. Now that we are trimmed, looking fresh, we have to find some ukai ukai, some secondhand shop, find some deals. I've noticed that all the salons here, they call them saloons with two O's, like as in a, uh, as in like a bar in the Old West. So it's just a misspelling that's very common here. And because it is a Muslim country, they separate the men and the women. So there's gent salons, gents for gentlemen, and women's uh, ladies for women. They always separate it. This is the ukai that I went to a couple days ago that made me really, really happy. We're gonna see if we can find anything here. So I meant the one I was at before, and they have an upstairs. I had no idea they had an upstairs, so I have all this other stuff to look at. Wow, look at these. Gore-Tex. Response. I love the graphic on this. Mack trucks, it's vintage. First vintage come up, brand new with the tags. Made in the USA. It's only 10 Durham. There's another vintage come up. Huge Tommy Jeans box logo on the back. It is size 14 in women's. These are pretty sick Kempa. I've never heard of this. It's literally got a table tennis dude on the side. Colors are sick. Looks like a table tennis shoe. And these are 75 Durham. King James is here in Dubai. 50 Durham. So many shoes. Foot Joy shorts, size 32, my size. Debating getting these for myself because I got shorts and I'm working on my minimalism. I do need to find a swimsuit. I have not found a swimsuit yet. I did not bring a swimsuit. I am gonna grab these. These are kind of like a nylon, not exactly a swimsuit, but it is 10 Durham. American Apparel made in the USA, size small. Florida State colorway. Didn't find a whole lot in there, but they did give me a tip on the next store I'm going to go to right across the street. They said there's one in this building. So I'm in the second Ukai Ukai. This one actually has jackets. I'm gonna go through the jackets, find something. These are 25 Durham. There's a foot joy right off the bat. Looks like a vintage football club Barcelona Nike. This one looks actually vintage. Man, I've went to three of the Ukai Ukais and no luck at all. Completely unsuccessful Ukai Ukai shopping experience. It must have just been a freak of nature that I went in there and pulled out an Arcteryx and a Lululemon the first time. I went to about two or three stores and there wasn't much of anything. I flicked through probably 500 pieces of clothing. There was one, there was one pair of Foot Joy pants, a pair of Tommy shorts, but that's about it. I took the Metro back to the Mall of Emirates, just chilling in the grass here next to the bus station over there. I'm going to enjoy some chicken shawarma, super cheap. I did, however, succeed at getting my hair cut. So thanks everybody for watching, I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. You got to let it go.